Hi, Matt Molinari here. Thanks for uh, finding my blog again. And uh, this video post, we're just going to talk a little bit about um, planning. As you can kind of see from the scene behind me, uh, my life is a little bit hectic, and I really try to use some of the theories that supply chain managers use to restore some of the, the order in my life that my two-year-old daughter uh, kind of disrupts with her, her chaos. So we're going to talk about the two different really approaches to, to planning and the first one would be um, forward planning and that's basically you get your order in and you start production right away and you don't necessarily have a specific end date in mind. Um, the other one is backwards planning and that's where you get your order for whatever the, the widget is and you say okay when is the date you want this by and you work backwards establishing um, goals along the way to make sure that the the, the piece is finished by the, the date that's required by the customer. And a lot of supply chain managers kind of kind of use these two theories and it really depends on, on how your company is set up and the, the wishes of your customer and which one you're going to use. But personally, right now I'm um, trying to get my MBA and studying for my CPA at the same time. So I've developed a really in-depth uh, plan that kind of takes both approaches in, into account. I know that at the end of August, I want to be able to take two of the four tests for my CPA exam. So I kind of have that end date in mind, but as I'm going, I'm having to sign up for classes to, to study and just get some extra credits. And I don't necessarily know the deadlines for those classes before I enroll. So I'm having to just start studying, knowing that by August 31st, I want to be ready to, to take these two tests. and. One of the issues that I'm running into that a lot of people run into is this, the theory of constraints, which is basically um, there's going to be a bottleneck at some point because all the demands are going to meet and they're just not going to be all, all be able to get through at the same time. You know, one person at a manufacturing plant can only put together so many pieces at his station before they move on to the next one. So if the person before him can move faster and he can only do so many, at his station there's going to be be a build up and a lot of times what you need to do is determine the setup of your of your factory or, or your warehouse or whatever it is to make sure that you try and eliminate as many bottlenecks as possible so that no one person is sitting around for for a long amount of time unnecessarily because he can work faster than the person in front of him or he's working slower than the person behind him so there's a, a build up of material at his station that's just sitting there waiting to get the next step and I think the important thing to know is really um, know your employees and know what your end goal is and, and how quickly everyone can, can do their specific jobs. And I'll post a, a little uh, example of the calendar that I have set up for myself and just talk a little bit about some of the, the roadblocks or bottlenecks that I've had um, along the way. So thanks again for uh, finding my blog.